When my computer broke a little more than a month back, there's a fundraiser down in the description. I didn't figure I would be doing a whole lot of gaming content on my channel since what I typically do requires a little bit more in-depth capabilities than I can do on my phone. Turns out I'm kind of dumb because a little while back there was an update that added screen recording just into the phone directly, so I could have at least been doing gaming on my phone for the channel this whole time. But there's absolutely no time to mourn for what could have been because I actually do have something lined up. Today we are looking at Night of Justice. At least, that's the official name on the App Store. The moment you look down in the screenshots or you open up the game, you see that... Yeah, I don't think I can say that title without getting demonetized. This is gonna be great. We start off the game with this blinking blue man who turns out to be the titular character himself. I actually had to re-record this scene more than once because the first few times I attempted it, the game kept slapping advertisements up over the top while the scene was happening in the background, completely concealing everything. Cut to Batman, standing on a low and undramatic place, being told to get a clue. I'd like to point out here that no, he is not wearing a cape, because capes are hard. Looking at the screen here, you can see the different buttons Batman has available. There is a jump, a punch, a dodge roll, and a crouch, most of which will never be used for anything. Also, that car has an entirely different art style from the rest of the game. In the top corner, up above the minimap, we also have a timer which is ticking down. It doesn't explain why the timer is ticking down, there's nothing it's connected to, and if it runs out you will fail and have to go back to the previous checkpoint. So that's fun. Approaching the scene of the crime, we have this cop who shrinks down to half of Batman's size the moment you start speaking to him. He sends you after the first suspect in the game. An ad roll pops up, which reminds me there are probably much better superhero games out there on the market for me to be playing, but hey, I can't stop now. Gotham City needs me. Barely a few yards away, the cars demonstrate that they don't have the right physics in this game, so you can absolutely shove them around to your heart's content. Batman's casual stroll eventually gets us to the suspect in this, you know, domestic terrorism case, and we're warned to get ready to fight. And we have the best action scene I've experienced in a long time. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Now upon defeat, she drops what has to be at least a four foot tall Polaroid of her boss, which for some reason Batman has to get cleared up. Of course, my question at this point, really who this Larry is about- Hey, get the fuck out of here, big sister. Can't you see I'm trying to play Knight of Justice? I continue harassing the same car as before on my way over to Larry's, which honestly is the most fun I've had with this game up until this point. Now Larry basically confirms two things for us. One, that the developers unambiguously intended for this to be Batman himself. And two, that Raid Shadow Legends will shamelessly slap their advertisements on any old fucking thing at this point. After what is not exaggerating nearly two minutes of walking, I finally get to the next guy, and I decide I'm going to try and use Crouch to sneak up on him. It absolutely does not work, and I'm forced to fight him just the same as the first thug. Well, that is just shameful. It is here, rounding the same corner that I've already had to round just a few minutes before, that I run into the greatest threat of Batman's career. Two thugs. I, very promptly, am overwhelmed and killed. Considering I have to walk halfway across town just to get back to the fight, I take a moment to reflect on my mistakes and think about how I am going to overcome these great odds. Using my skills as a master strategist, I lure one man away so I can take him down with ease. I, 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 I said with ease. 
he swiftly kills me a second time anyway. The post-mortem political ad incentivizes me to not die again. And so I sweep back in, expertly moving around the battlefield, my acrobatics going left when they go right, keeping me ahead at all times, until finally, ultimately, at the end of this long road of struggle, I manage to win the fight. The political ad promptly plays anyway again, god damn it. Of course, all incredible journeys must come to an end. As they say, climax is inevitable. And so standing before me, the gang leader behind the destruction and the death, the significance of this moment could not be overstated. Here, two trained combatants, dangerous and deadly in their own way, wait, Hold on, he just, he just immediately went down. And so with that, the ending of the game seamlessly transitions back into the beginning of the game. Like some horrendous Sisyphean torture pushing that boulder back up the hill. But before I wrap things up on this interesting adventure, I want to take a look back over at the listing on the App Store for a moment. An intriguing story, action and thrill-filled gameplay, smooth and responsive controls, sound effects, clearly this description, it's a pretty great fit. But what if you want something more out of this 15 minute game where you fight 5 people and the sound effects stop following the first 15 seconds? Well I'll tell you what you do. You pay. $9.99 for the pro version of this game, which turns the costume red and may or may not remove advertisements from the game altogether. Because who can say no to a great deal like that? Well that was something, wasn't it? If you guys did like the video, please give it a like and a subscribe if you want to see more like it. Uh, I also have some videos you'd probably be interested in down on my channel. I wouldn't mind if you gave it a look, click through a few things. And like I was saying at the beginning of the video, if you would like to donate just a few dollars, help out with the fundraiser, the link to that is in the description as well. Stay safe out there, everyone.